Hey everyone, it's Ken and Data Monkey back again. And for this week's episode of Monkey Shorts, we're gonna look at a recipe pattern that I'll be honest, I don't use a lot. And yet every now and then it comes up. As a matter of fact, just yesterday when I was actually answering a question in the SkillWave help forum. And it's about trying to keep values that are null when you're unpivoting. So let's go take a look at the data here. And I'll show you the specific issue is that I have a cider sale here for October 17th that is null. And what happens is when we go and right click on our date and we choose to unpivot other columns, you'll notice that our data is in order, October 17th, beer and wine, but no cider, it disappears. And we wanna try and keep that around. So I'm gonna give you two different ways to actually solve this particular issue. Now the first one is fairly straightforward. We have numeric values here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right click and we're gonna replace values. And I'm just gonna replace the keyword null with a zero. Okay, this is an easy, easy thing to do. So that now when I go and say, okay, and I right click and I go back and unpivot other columns, you'll notice that my cider is right here. Now, the tricky part with this though, is that I've just created data. And this is where you need to be concerned about this because I can't go back and do this. Right click and replace values and say zero with no, and this is what I really want to do because I want to be aware that these data points are empty. Why is that an issue? Well, because wine actually had zero listed here. And there's a big difference in my world between null and zero. Null means nothing was ever posted. Zero means we've actually got something that was posted at zero dollars. And that could be a sale or it could be a refund or something like that that's going on, but it is actual valid data. So you have to be a little bit careful here. If null is equal to zero, no big deal, that's easy. But if it's not, I need to show you a different pattern. So let me just undo this for a second here. What we would do is we'd say, all right, let's go back and change this up. The first thing we need to do when we look at our original data here, that still has our nulls and our zeros here, is we need to go and actually change the type of the columns to be text. And this is really, really important. I'm gonna replace this because if we don't do that, we can't replace our values, particularly our nulls here, with a string of text. Now. What I wanna do is I wanna use the um, pipe character. This is the uh, shift backslash, that straight up and down bar, because you rarely see this in real data. So now what we can do is we can say, okay. And at that point, I've got my pipe character here. So now I can go right click and unpivot other columns again. At this point, I can come back to my value. We can go back and say, replace values, replace the pipe with the word null, say, okay. And now you'll notice we've got our null here. We still have our zero for our wine sales. So when I go back and convert this into a whole number, I haven't manufactured any data. I've still got nulls and I've left these ones alone. So depending on what your needs are, you have to be a little bit careful with this, but those are the tricks there for keeping your nulls in your unpivoted output. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the SkillWave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.